Hello, today let me show ADR7200 Automated Flight Control System AFCS. So, what are the function of Automated Flight Control System? Autopilot, Yoda Bar, Flight Trader, Pit Auto Train, and Rara Auto Train. These are the basis of Autopilot. Autopilot circuit, uh, input, output, and Autopilot. If any other disk screen will be this input and output, or we have to look at the circuit again. We are the three business channel row, page, and your. In order to control the URL, uh, Autobahn system use the error, error, best error on train, not a Autobahn function. This error train is not automatically controlled, only the error. This the pitch control by the elevator and elevator train, this elevator. Uh, Elevator train is automatically controlled by the, our autopilot system AFCF. And this is the radar and the radar train train is automatically controlled by the automated flight control system. Aero train is not automatically controlled. Uh, these are the location autopilot train accurate and autopilot. Uh, accurate. Uh, you see the root socket here. This is the your accurate location, pick accurate, and the row accurate. This is uh, this is the autobahn submodal. These three submodal are exactly the same, same pen number. Uh, this small black socket is the elevator train accurate. The white socket is the radar train accurate, and this the row train accurate. Here, the same train accurate are the same. This is the elevator train train deck. That's why we uh, we have the left train accreditor and right train accreditor. This is the radar train deck. We have the uh, one radar train deck accreditor. This is the location of the autopilot row accreditor unit. Here is the this is our error error and this is the autopilot row accreditor. So these are the autopilot control system for ADR some reduce the standard. Okay, we can stop. In the autopilot control system, we have that we have the very important application which are hosted in the CAC1 and CAC2. Uh is and hosted in this our CPN1 and CPN2. We have the application automated flight control application and Fly warning application, central line maintenance application, and the data concentration application. This is for hosting in the CC1. And same for the CC2. Central line maintenance application is working for the CC1. And the business of the automated control system is operated by the automated flight control application. These are the autopilot accreditor. Pick autopilot accreditor unit. Pick autopilot accreditor unit. Pro, uh, your number accreditor unit is the your accreditor. This one is the pit train accreditor and your train accreditor. Like this. CC1 is command and CC2 is the monitor. Pit train accreditor is controlled by the, our power train box because the the command from the CC just is signal. Uh, it cannot control the power pit train accreditor. That's why it sends to the power train box and power train box create the power signal and control the our pit train accreditor. Same for the your train accreditor. Like this, here, I label train accurate and your train accurate and pit train accurate. You can see the location. Here, this is a flight guided control banner. Send the signal to CC1, CC2. This is the DU2, uh, who has the DU software, including the radio management application and the flight management application. FMS is a very important. That's why the we uh, du two and du who has the FMS one and FMS two only install the du two and du four. FMS one for du two, FMS two for the du four, du FMS one, FMS two. 
we control via the MCDU and from the CC1 for automatic control system. DU1, DU3, here. This for the radio notification, okay, for the, our viewer and as yeah, viewer one, navigation one, navigation two. This is the primary reference, our editor computer and attitude heavy reference system. Editor one, editor two, attitude heavy reference system one and ahx two. This is the index control button the ball, your speed selection, index control button one, index control button two, and this. Another input is the our task control steering, go round and landing gear and discrete inputs to our CC1 and CC2, directly to the CC2. And another one is the modification called computer inputs to the our CC1, CC2. And then next one is the multipurpose computer. Yeah. Okay. Now it is very clear. Yeah. Everyone is thinking like this. It's really, really beautiful. Okay, this is just this introduction to the, our auto flight control system. Okay, that's for what she do mention.